मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल सर अब्दुल सत्तार खान ट्वेल्थ इंग्लिश मार्च 2024 का सॉल्ड एग्जाम पेपर है क्वेश्चन आंसर चलिए शुरुआत करते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर वन है रीड द एक्सट्रैक्ट एंड कंप्लीट द एक्टिविटीज दिस इज व्हाट कैमस मीट वैन ही सेड डेट व्हाट गिव वैल्यू टू ट्रैवल इज फियर डिस्ट्रप्शन इन अदर वर्ड्स और इमेंसिपेशन फ्राम सर्कमस्टांसिस एंड ऑल द हैबिट्स behind which we hide and what is why many of us travel not in search of answers what a better questions i like many people tend to ask questions of the places i visit and relish most of ones that ask the most searching questions back to of me the ideal travel book christopher isherwood once said should be perhaps a little like a crime story in which you are in search of something and it's the best kind of something i would add if it's one that you can never quite find i remember in fact after my first trips to southeast asia more than a decade ago how i would come back to my apartment in new york and lie in my bed kept up by something more than jet lag playing back in my memory over and over all that i had experienced and paging wistfully through my photographs and reading and rereading my diaries as if to extract some mystery from them anyone witnessing this strange scene would have drawn the right conclusion i was in love when we go abroad is that we are objects of scrutiny as much as the people we scrutinize and we are being consumed by the cultures we consume as much on the roads as when we are at home at the very least we are objects of speculation and even desire who can seem as exotic to the people around us as they do to us all in that sense believed in being moved as one of the points of taking trips and being transported by private as well as public means also that ecstasy tells us that our highest moments come when we are not stationary and that epiphany can follow movement as much as it part- precipitates it read uh, and rewrite the following sentences and state whether they are true or false a traveler may sink in love with his travel memoir memoirs true one gets inspected as he inspects the world around him true quest for something and may end more mystery true staying in comfort at home gives one more happiness than traveling false match the fo- following narrator in love with his memoirs camus fear gives value to travel i sure would ideal travel should be like a crime story traveler more happy when on move give reasons we are objects of scrutiny because first we are objects of scrutiny as much as the people we scrutinize second we are consumed by the culture we consume a for traveling is an interesting teacher write your views in 3 to 4 sentences traveling is the best teacher because when we when you visit these places you acquaint yourself with so much knowledge and first hand appreciation for new cultures which you might not have learned just through books come back home and flaunt your knowledge in front of others a5 do as directed i like to ask questions of the places i visit is answer has simple present tense second i would come back to my apartment in new york is answer hai i used to come back to my apartment in new york a6 find out the words from the passage which mean reminiscence memory memoir or remembered second is exhilaration happiness elation ec- ecstasy b1 language study hai do as directed avnish said sanchit what are you doing in the garden at this time identify and rewrite the correct indirect narration from the following points is answer hai first hai avnish asked sanchit what he was doing in the garden at that time Second, I neither Chopra may not participate in the World Championship due to ankle injuries. Ka second, sahi answer hai. Neither Chopra will not participate in the World Championship due to ankle injury. Ye definite model auxiliary hai will not. Third, I unless you are confident, you will not succeed. 
इसका सही आंसर है सेकेंड इफ़ यू हैव कॉन्फिडेंस यू विल गो वी विल गेट सक्सेस बी टू स्पॉट द एरर एंड रिराइट करेक्ट सेंटेंस ही प्रिस्क्राइब मेडिसिन अलॉन्ग विद अ फ्यू एक्सरसाइज टू हिस्स पेशेंट्स ही प्रिस्क्राइब्स मेडिसिन अलॉन्ग विद अ फ्यू एक्सरसाइज टू हिस्स पेशेंट्स इसमें या तो एस लगाइए प्रिस्क्राइब में या ई डी लगाइए दोनों भी सही रहेगा क्वेश्चन नंबर टू का ए है रीड द फॉलोइंग एक्सट्रैक्ट एंड कंप्लीट द एक्टिविटीज गिवन विल लव इज़ अ ग्रेट फोर्स इन प्राइवेट लाइफ इट इज़ इंडीड द ग्रेटेस्ट ऑफ ऑल थिंग्स बट लव इन पब्लिक अफेयर्स डज नॉट वर्क इन इट हैज़ बीन ट्राइड अगेन एंड अगेन बाय द पीपल ऑफ द मिडल एजेस एंड आल्सो बाय द फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन अ सेक्युलर मूवमेंट विच री असर्टेड द ब्रदरहुड ऑफ मैन एंड इट हैज़ ऑलवेज फेल्ड द आइडिया डेट नेशन शुड है लव वन अनदर or that business concerns or marketing words should love one another or that a man in portugal should love a man in peru of whom he has never heard it is absurd unreal dangerous love is what is indeed we chant and then sit back and the world goes on as before the fact is we can only love what we know personally and we cannot know much in public affairs in the rebuilding of the civilization something much less dramatic and emotional is needed namely tolerance tolerance is a very dull virtue it is boring it is negative it merely means putting up with people being able to stand things no one has ever written an ode to tolerance or raised a statue to state a statue to her yet this is the quality which will be most needed after the war this is the second this is the sound state of mind which we are looking for this is the only force which we can enable different races and classes and interests to settle down together to work to the work of reconstruction the world is very full of people appallingly full it has never been so full because and they are all tumbling over each other most of these people one doesn't know and some of them one doesn't like well what is one to do if you don't like people put up with them as well as you can don't try to love them you can't but try to tolerate them on the basis of that tolerance a civilized future may be built certainly i can see no law other foundation for the post war world even i choose the two correct alternatives which define the theme of the extract love is a greater force in private as well as in public affairs second to rebuild to rebuild the civilization we need tolerance more than love complete the following table with the help of the extract give one o merit and one demerit of love and patience Being in love works wonder for your mental health as well as love marriage and overall well-being reduce stress which also strengthen your immune system and individuals love can cause broken hearts ye demerit hai vulnerability and loss of ambition while one images argue that love is superior and devoted to honor others the second image suggest that love has its poisonous and misused towards others second a patience merit hai indeed research suggests that patient people tend to be more cooperative more emphatic more equitable and more forgiving forgiving patience involve emphatically assuming some personal discomfort to alleviate the suffering of those around us iska demerit hai higher levels of patients can have a negative impact on well being suggest as new study too much patience or an excessive tendency to delay gratification can hamper psychological well being a3 i write how we can build up a civilized society with the help of the extract a4 a love and tolerance are the two indicators of a civilized person justify A3 का आंसर है बिलीफ इन सिविल सिविक वैल्यूज सिस्टम एक्शंस फोस्टर्ड बाय इंटरनल इंसेंटिव्स 
can improve the well-being of all the members of the society simultaneously to levels that exceed similar systems based solely on self-interest. A4 ka answer hai, the tolerance and love allows us to focus on a greater purpose and work for our collective well-being as a human race while, while striving for a peaceful and happy world for all. A5 ka answer hai, do as directed. It has been tried again and again. Identify uh, the correct active voice of the above. They had tried it again and again. This answer hai first. Second, it is the sound state of mind which we are looking for. This answer hai, we are looking for the sound state of mind. A6 ka answer hai secular, not connected with any religion, absurd, not at all logical or sensible. Civilization, a society which has its own highly developed culture and ways of life, brotherhood, feeling of great friendship and understanding between people. B. Summarizing. Write a summary of the above extract by using the following points. Love as a force, its limitation, tolerance, need of tolerance. Love is powerful because it serves as a fundamental emotional and psychological force that binds individuals and communities. It can uplift, heal and inspire, making it an uplifting story. Love transcends physical limitations and can make even the smallest voice heard in a cacophony of noise. Love itself has no limits, but our ability to express and receive love is limited by our individual capacities and circumstances. Tolerance and love allows us to focus on a greater purpose and work for our collective well-being as a human race while striving for a peaceful and happy world for all. Tolerance is important because it provides more cohesive, peaceful society, people who are free to express themselves freely and peacefully without fear of persecution are more likely to live happier lives as functional members of society. See here question number two ka mind mapping. Prepare a mind map on effects of music on human life. Effects of music brings positivity, removes nervousness, comforts and mind, makes us fresh, reduces stress, makes us calm, pacify excitement, gives us energy. Section second poetry question number three ka A hai. Read the extract and complete the activities given below. She walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climbs and starry skies and that's best of dark and bright meet in her aspect and her eyes thus mellow to that tender light which heaven to god he day denies one shade the more one ray the less had half impaired the nameless grass which waves in every raven trees or softly lightens over her face where thoughts serenely sweets express how pure how clear that dwelling place and on that cheek and over that brow so soft, so calm, yet eloquent. The smiles that win, the tints that glow, but tell of days in goodness spent, a mind at peace with all below, a heart whose love is innocent. Select and write the statements from the given list. Justify the theme of the poem. Iska sahi answer hai B. Internal beauty is as important as external beauty. Second hai Beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. A2 has complete the following web describing the various aspects of the lady of beauty. One is done for you. Her hair, her eyes, mind, smile. Her hair wavy and black. Her eyes a perfect blend of light and darkness. Smile, soft, calm and eloquent. Her mind at peace with all below a heart. A3. Write the, your idea of a beautiful person your own words. A4. Find out and explain the example of antithesis from the given extract. A3. Ka answer, a person or thing that is beautiful person has perfection of form, color, etc. Or noble and spiritual qualities. A beautiful landscape. A beautiful woman. Handsome often implies stateliness. Or pleasing proportion and symmetry. A handsome man. A4 has antithesis. First, have best of dark and bright. 
ये वर्ड्स ऑफ अपोजिट मीनिंग आर यूज फॉर पोइट्रिक इफेक्ट इसके बाद है वन शेड द मोर वन रे द लेस यहाँ मोर और लेस ये अपोजिट वर्ड्स है ए फाइव कंपोज अ पोएम ऑफ योर ओन इन अबाउट टू टू फोर लाइन्स ऑन द टॉपिक ब्यूटी दे से इट फेड्स दे से इट वेन्स दे से इफ यू डोंट हैव इट देन डैट्स क्वाइट अ शीन बट इट इज़ नॉट अ पोजिशन एंड द अल्टीमेट ट्रूथ वी ऑल सी इट डिफरेंटली नॉट जस्ट द प्रेजर ऑफ यूथ बी एप्रिसिएशन ऑफ द पोएम बी रीड द एक्सट्रैक्ट एंड राइट द एप्रिसिएशन ऑफ द पोएम दे हीयर नो साउंड द स्वेल इज स्ट्रॉन्ग दो द फिल्म हैज फॉल ऑन दे ड्रिफ्ट अ लॉन्ग टिल द वेस्ट सेल स्ट्राइक्स विद अ शिवरिंग शॉक ओ क्राइस इट इज द इंच के प्रॉक Sir Rav the Rover tore his hair. He cursed himself in his despair. The waves rush in every side. The ship is sinking beneath the tide. But even in his dying fear, one dreadful sound could roar. Could the rover hear a sound as if the inch cap bell, the devil below, was ringing his knell? The The ballad the Inch Cape Rock is by Robert Southey. Inch Cape was a stretch of treacherous rocks near the Scottish coast. The benevolent abbot of Aberbrothock had installed a warning bell on the rock. However, a pirate surrounded the rover in a fit of wickedness, cut the warning bell and sank it into the sea. Many months later, when the pirate was sailing towards Scotland in stormy weather, his boat struck. the very same rock and sank as there was no bell to warn him rafs realized to his despair that he had brought this ruin onto himself the poem is a ballad the story is told in a easy language in stanzas of four lines the rhyme scheme is a a b b the poet uses many old english words like blast coat and cast The poem begins with a bright day and ends on a dark note. Some of the figures of his speech are inversion, alliteration, anomatopoeia, antithesis, etc. They had they add beauty to the poem. The poem is a didactic one with the uh, clear message and moral. Those who do wrong things will meet with the punishment. I like the poem as it is in the form of a story and easy to understand. The imagery too is very good. I agree with the message delivered by the poet. Question number four: A writing skill section three. Complete the activities as per the instructions given below. Attempt any one of the following: drafting a virtual message. A statement of purpose: Imagine after your HSC, you wish to pursue a degree in bachelor's in communication skills in a reputed university in India or abroad. Prepare a statement of purpose SOP in about one fifty words, which will help you to get admission in your dream university. As a five year old eating food while listening to the advertisement jingles on television and sleeping on the couch, on the couch I was often glued to the television as most children of my age are. But what did differentiated me from the rest of the children was my flair. to mix match four or five jingles together to make it a parody and entertain my little cousin and friends i would insist my parents bring home the very same products that had the best jingle jingle i was the perfect target audience for brand managers as i grew a little older i was in awe of my maternal uncle who was the marketing head of his company looking after the south asian continent i used to visualize him in a big office sitting behind his mahaguni desk signing important papers and planning crucial marketing strategies for the business knowing of my curiosity my uncle often used to indulge me and share his experiences of traveling to different geographies for business that added fodder to my little imagination I always knew that I was going to be a marketing head when I grew up signing those important papers I had always envisaged my uncle sign the fact that I didn't know the role of a marketing head at that age did not deter me and firm me in my belief then nevertheless never losing sight of my dream I became a serious and committed student during my high school trying to figure out my part to achieve my dream 
at that age i was fascinated with learning new facts i particularly had a good aptitude in business studies and economics my math tutor having been my mentor for 4 years knew me particularly well in and out of class and advised that i should be thinking of making a career in communications since i had a gift for it i enrolled for the conventional bachelor of commerce program during the college as educational institutions in india do not provide flexibility of majoring minoring in one field post my graduation i took up a summer job with a leading business process outsourcing company for telemarketing to earn a few bucks as pocket money this experience fueled my passion and served to increase my interest in marketing activities of business and at the same time polishing my communication and leadership skills क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर के ए का थ्री है ग्रुप डिस्कशन बी एनी वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एक्टिविटीज ईमेल ड्राफ्ट एंड ईमेल टू द मैनेजर ऑफ अ कंपनी सेकंड है रिपोर्ट राइटिंग इमेजिन यूर क्लास अटेंड टू सेशन ऑन हाउ टू विन फोर्थ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन है इमेजिन यू हैव टू कंडक्ट एन इंटरव्यू ऑफ अ फेमस एक्टर विद द हेल्प ऑफ द फॉर्मेट given below draft questions on the given fields do not change the sequence of the questions interview questions hai name of the inter- interviewee field reputation date venue time duration of inter- interview questions questions based on motivation initial preparation support idol gurus teachers first break public response recognition goals and dreams Many congratulations can I ask you a few questions what types of projects you have acted in before what are some of your most valuable skills as an actor do you have professional training in an acting technique do you have do you believe talent or training is more important to an actor five tell me about a time when you were faced with a challenging situation six do you usually set goals at work seven give me an example of time you made a mistake at work it have you ever faced conflict with a coworker nine tell me about a time when you handled the pressure well see here attempt any one of the following activities speech imagine you are preparing for an elocution competition and you wish to speak on the topic of green revolution draft a speech in about 150 words on the given topic Good morning one and all green revolution paved way for the adoption of new technology in agriculture leading to its its industrialization sharing of technology in the field of agriculture had many advantages including high yield per area better quality of crops and controlled water supply for irrigation among others green revolution is associated with the agricultural production it is the period when agriculture of the country was converted into an industrial system due to the adoption of modern methods and techniques like the use of high yielding variety seeds tractors irrigation facilities pesticides and fertilizers the green revolution led to high productivity of crops through adapted measures such as first increased area under farming second double cropping which includes planting two crops rather than one annually the adoption of high yield varieties of seeds hv hyv fourth highly increased use of inorganic fertilizers and pesticides five improved green revolution was highly beneficial for the developing countries and resulted in better yield better quality of product produces among other advantages the methods of adopting in the green revolution resulted in extremely favorable conditions for the crop to grow i conclude this speech goodbye for now second i comparing prepare a compare for cultural fest 2024 expansion of idea manners make the man d any one of the following activities review you have recently read a famous book magazine write a review on the same with the help of the following points title front page back page language features content pictures quality presentation values vision and variety title of the magazine 
Wander Lust is a British novel uh, travel magazine that is published 10 times a year. It focuses on covering adventures, cultural and feature travel. The magazine stands by its name and is the perfect read for the Wander Lust in each one of us. Subject and content. It is one of the world's leading magazines that covers travel, culture, wildlife activities and other information the magazine explores. Famous and hidden gems of Earth's most beautiful pictures and interesting places to travel. It provides research material for anyone planning a trip. It provides inspiration and ideas for trips with all the necessary details required. It, is all, it also includes tips and tricks on several travel and tourism related topics. The magazine includes photography, tips and ideas too. The magazine also hosts various travel related con contests and competitions allowing readers to win free trips, weekend gateways and all sorts of travel guides and gears. Language style and presentation. The language of the magazine is simple yet engaging. It is suitable for everyone including new readers to travelers. With title, with little to no knowledge, the magazine focuses on maintaining an effective manner of description while being relevant and concise. The magazine is filled with most scenic shots of the location, aptly surrounded by all the necessary information. Special features, attractions. The magazine additionally provides personal reviews regarding travel gear, books and firms, as well as travel events and festivals. It also includes celebrity interviews with some of the to top celebrities in the travel and wildlife industries. Blog, uh, write a blog in a proper format on body language. Prepare an appeal on the topic, topic traffic rules for safety measures. Question number 5 hai, complete the following activities given below a literary genre novel ka part hai. Match the columns novel, a long narrative fiction, 18th century literature, spirit of realism, 2nd to 6th century Greek romances, newspapers and magazines, middle class readers. Choose the correct alternatives and rewrite the first sentences. The novel that bears more than one level of meaning is called as allegorical novel. Second, novel is concerned with the protagonist overall growth for childhood to adulthood. His uh, answer is Bill Dangerous, Dangerous Roman. C. Hey, Dash novel is a novel based on the author's life, autobiographical. D. The novel based on the imagery, imaginary community possessing the idea, ideal qualities is called utopian novel. B. Answer in about 50 words to the questions given below. Write a character sketch of the narrator E. R. Brathwaite into Sir with Love. Second, consider T. Student-teacher uh, relationship as one of the themes of the To Sir with Love. Second answer, the extract the narrator describes the day in which the half yearly report of a student's council takes place. It is entirely the student's affair. The students are given full freedom. Denham and Miss Joseph conduct the whole program and, pre and preside over it. The students and teachers all listen attentively to the reports made by the students' representative on what they have been studying till then. At the end of the student's presentation, Three teachers are chosen at random to answer the students' questions. They have to answer whatever questions are put to them by the students. Furman questions them adroitly. Denham is blunt, critical, and argumentative. Two of the teachers are flustered by the questions which they find difficult to answer. However, Miss Phillips intervenes skillfully when the other two teachers are at a loss without embracing them. She speaks coolly, honestly, and with authority. Denham counter questions her. She is cool and pleasant. The program is serious, formal, and frank. It is a democratic setup. Answering about 50 words to the questions given below. Appreciate Phyllis Fogg as the protagonist of Around the World in 80 Days. Second, the most interesting part of the extract Around the World in 80 Days is its climax discussed. 
Fogg and the readers first think that Fogg has lost not only the wager but also the money and honor that went with it. The following lines tell us that this after having steadily traversed that long journey overcome a hundred obstacles, braved many dangers and still found time to do some good on his way to fail near the goal by a sudden event which he could not have foreseen and against which he has unarmed. It was terrible. The unforeseen event was his arrest and imprisonment by Detective Fix, who mistakenly thought he was a bank robber. However, the twist comes when Passepartout finds out that it is not Sunday but Saturday and perhaps they can just make it to the reform club in time. Just like Fox, antagonists are counting the sounds, the seconds to there. When Fogg manages to reach the club and win the wager, giving a happy and thrilling ending to the novel. The following lines tell us this. At the 57th second, the door of the saloon opened and the pendulum had not beat the 60th second. When Phileas Fogg appeared, followed by the excited crowd who had forced their way through the club doors and in his calm voice said, Here I am, gentlemen. The answer in about 50 words to questions given below. Mary Marston encourages Dr. Watson to get involved in the case, in her case. Justify the statement with reference to the sign of four. Second, write the importance of various places such as homes, residence, Lyceum Theater, and unknown destination with reference to the sign of four. London. The case starts here with Mary Marston meeting Holmes at his place in London. They got to meet Thaddeus Sholto in London. They also chase Jonathan Small and Tonga in London. Tonga is called and Small captured. Small then narrates the entire story. Lyceum Theatre. This is the place near which the writer of the anonymous letter told Mary Marston to reach if she wish, wished to get justice. Amid, you have liked our video. Please like this video.